First tonight, the Rhode Island Rams hopes of making it to the NCAA tournament and falling short in a loss to St. Bonaventure. We have team coverage of the A-10 tournament semifinals. Ruthie Belinsky is live at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn tonight. But first, Maury Hirschgordon is in studio with the highlights. Yeah, hi, Kate. URI was the last hope for the state of Rhode Island to make the NC2A tournament. Bryant, Brown, and Providence all eliminated from contention, meaning Rhodey was just two in shy for making it six straight years that a team from the Ocean State would advance to the big dance. But things couldn't have started out any better for David Cox and crew. Freshman Tyrese Martin finds Cyril Angelvine underneath. The junior had 15 points. Then Fats Russell to Martin in the corner. Rhodey jumped out to a 15 point lead early in the first half, but from that point on, URI was outscored by 32 points. Their Cinderella run ends two games short in a 68 51 loss. Ruthie Polinski has been there all weekend long and she picks up our coverage from the floor at the Barclays Center. Ruthie? Hi, Maury. Well, what a roller coaster of a season for the Rams. Just a few weeks ago, they were in the midst of a five game losing streak. Then they rattled off six straight wins, including knocking off the number one seed in the A 10 tournament. But in the semifinals, their inexperience and their exhaustion caught up with them as they fall to St. Bonaventure's, ending what could have been a Cinderella like run and ending a season that had very high highs and very low lows. It's always tough. This is the end, you know. This is the end, not only of a great run, but it's the end of uh, it's the end of a year. And um, I think the overall theme uh, that I share with these guys, and I'll share with you, is that uh, in over 20 years of coaching, I've never been uh, prouder of a group of young men uh, for all the adversity they fought through, for their resiliency, and for for staying together. And more coming up in sports, we'll hear more from David Cox about how he hopes to use this little run that his team went on as a springboard for the future. Live in Brooklyn at the Barclays Center, I'm Ruthie Polinsky, Eyewitness News. All right, thanks so much, Ruthie. Like she said, much more coverage coming up from Brooklyn in a little bit. Plus, we'll head to the Ryan Center. I'll have highlights from today's Final Four in high school hoops. For now in the studio, Maury Hirsch-Gordon, Eyewitness News.